Good evening, welcome to my laboratory. Uh, this is uh, part two of troubleshooting the Speedrite uh, SB1000 fence charger. I finally took the inductor off and I had to rewind the, the whole inductor. And that was kind of a pain in the butt, but I learned a lot doing it. I used my little um, fully adjustable coil winder here once I got the bobbin off and apart. Um, the bobbin, the outer winding of that inductor is um, 40 turns of some fairly heavy magnet wire. And then under that, there's a 16 turn trigger winding. And then under that, there's a 475 turn uh, high voltage winding of little bitty wire like this. And uh, the first time I rewound the inductor and put it back on there, it worked so well that it immediately faulted again because I guess I didn't have enough uh, insulation. So I took it apart and rewound it again uh, with uh, better insulation. I insulated the uh, high voltage winding with um, polyurethane spar varnish and masking tape and all the rest of that. Okay, so. Um, uh, so I've got the uh, 2SC 1384 transistor there, which is the one that I found that worked uh, slightly before, and the BC uh, what is it BC 563 here? What is that? That's uh, this is also the original original replacement transistor, that's a BC547, okay? So with the 1384 and the BC547 in there, uh, put it back in there, and uh, there's the uh, baseline down there, and now I'm using the 100, uh, the 100 to 1 uh, scope probe on there. And we're looking at that now at 100 volts. Uh, no, I'm sorry, we're looking at that at 50 volts per division. Okay, 50 volts per vertical division using a 100, 100 power probe. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on to the fast pulse position. And I think you can hear the, uh, the whining. And you can see maybe if the camera's frame rate allows it, you can see that it's pulsing all eight of those uh, NE2s with a nice uh, double pulse and you can also see that double pulse on the scope it's charging to a little bit under 150 volts and it's got that double pulse in there and uh, it's uh, using some current 380 milliamps or so when the cap is initially charging okay and it's making all that noise and, but watch this. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to pull out the BC, or, or rather, uh, 2SC 1384, and I'm going to put in an NTE 399. This is a television transistor, vertical frequency or something like that. It's a high frequency, high voltage transistor that did not work before. So I'm putting that in there and then instead of the 547 I'm going to pull that out and I'm going to put in a BC337-25 in there if I can get it in the hole okay now I'm going to turn it on and uh, I guess you can see, or maybe you can see, the double pulses. There's no, there's no noise now. And it's charging to a higher voltage. It's charging up to about 170 volts there. 170 volts. And it's not a double pulse. And the current draw has gone way down. It goes up to maybe 90 milliamps when, when the capacitor is initially charging. Okay, so 
look at that. I guess it's fixed. I got rid of the noise. I got it working. Got it flashing high voltage. Can you see that? See those neons flashing? Okay, so that's just a little 10 to 1 step-up transformer. The actual transformer that's supposed to go with the thing is, is uh, more like 100 to 1, probably. So uh, I'm going to declare this to be operational at present. And the fix for it was taking the inductor apart and rewinding it. And also getting the phasing right on the inductor. All right. Thank you for watching.